I'm Jen and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing an advanced step tutorial. So this is definitely an advanced step. If you have not learned wings yet, don't attempt this exercise because you really need to learn your wings first before you can do this variation. So I do have my step tutorial playlist down below in the description and it will have wings. There's a video on there that is just teaching you how to do a wing. So once you've gotten and, and your feet understand wings, then you can come to this video and learn this variation. Today we're going to be talking about single footed wings and what I call wing switches. Other people have different names for this, but like switching wings. It's where you start on one foot and then halfway through the wing you switch to land on the other foot. But we'll talk about that in a second. I, I call them wing switches or just switches. <laughs> Um, but other people might have other names for it. If you have a different name for it, please write it down below in the comments. I love learning what people call different steps. It makes me really happy. So to talk about it, let's just start with just doing a regular wing and remembering what goes into that. So you plie, you bring your feet out, you brush them back in, but up so that you have space between you and the floor, and then you land. So that's it with two feet. So just plie, brush, spank, land. Awesome. So to go from that to just one foot, it seems pretty self-explanatory. You just do it on one foot. What makes it not self-explanatory is that your body doesn't just like, I guess the word is like account for that or like auto-correct for weight placement on one foot because the human body is very even. When you put it on just one foot, it's not naturally very even. There's a lot that you have to do and you have to hold just to make sure that everything is balanced on that leg. And the same kind of goes for when you want to take a two-footed step and turn it into a one-footed. There's a lot of corrections that you have to make in order for it to like work the same way. So you want to make sure that your weight is really deep into the standing hip not in like the knee of the standing foot, really into that hip, because that's really gonna be your center of gravity. But other than that, the step works the same as far as the foot is concerned. You plie, you brush out, you spank back, and you land. So you really should start on the toe. It's hard to talk about it, just stay on the toe, but plie. So, ha. <laughs> That's always scary to do, right? Because you're like, you're on camera and you're like, I just want to make sure I get it right. For me, a lot of it shouldn't be a wish and hope and pray that it goes well. You should just know that your foot knows how to do a wing. It knows how to brush, spank, and land. And not stress about it so much. I just totally stressed about it. And trust me, I feel it in every muscle in my body that I just totally stressed about it. So. You just stand on one foot, you plie, you brush, you spank, you land. Yes, and it all works exactly the same. I trusted that my foot knew how to do it because if you can do it on two feet and you properly correct your weight placement on one foot, you can do it on one foot. Absolutely. So let's try a couple on the right. Let's just do, I'll count it in, we'll do one, and then I'll count you in again, we'll do another one just to get a little taste of it. We're just learning. Ready? Five, oh, plie on eight and go on one. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Now let's try the left foot. For me, the awkward foot. <laughs> I don't know, so you guys might be lefties. All right, let's hope I can do this. <laughs> Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that went way better than I expected. See, I need to trust myself, and you need to trust yourself. Try it again. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So you know, you know you can do a wing. Don't psych yourself out. I do it all the time. Don't do it. Don't psych yourself out. Your feet know what to do. They can do it on one foot. Just make sure that you are correcting where your weight is, because if your weight's still between two hips and you've got one foot off the ground, you're leaning too much to one side and you won't be able to keep your balance. All right, so now, now that we've talked about single-footed wings, that's the same, same thing as the double foot, nothing changed. That meant that you started on that foot, 
and you landed on that foot. Now we're going to do switch wings, switching wings, wing switches, or whatever you call them. So it starts the same, but the landing is different. You're going to brush out, brush back, and then land on your other foot. It looks like this. So you do the brush out and then the brush back. And when you brush back, you're gonna lift up and then bring your, your up foot, up foot, <laughs> you bring your non-standing foot down to land on it. So we're doing the brush and the spank on the right and landing on the left. So let's try this. Just give it a shot, okay? If you need to hold on to stuff, hold on to stuff, whether it's a chair, or a mantle, or a friend, <laughs> hold on to things, um, but give it a shot. Ready? Brush, spank, and then land on your other foot. Five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's try one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So, let's do the other foot. Let's do the left side. Now we're landing on the right. You brush, you spank with the left foot, and we're landing on the right foot. Five. Six, seven, eight. Awesome. See, it's not as strong for me on the left, but it's okay. We all have our awkward side. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Really fun thing you can do with these, switch back and forth. And this is going to be a good challenge for you guys. You start with the right foot. You switch to the left. You immediately switch and switch, and switch. Make sure you play A in between. Uh, but let's try a couple of those. So we'll go five, six, seven, plie eight. You go and a one, and a two, and a three, and a four. Right, or sorry, right, left, right, left. It's easier with the feet, honestly. <laughs> All right, worst thing that happens is it's terrible, right? Awesome. It starts at terrible, and it just gets better and better and better. Let's give it a shot. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Not bad. You want to do it one more time? I'm asking as if you're not just a camera and you can actually answer me. But hopefully you said yes, because let's do it one more time. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. So that's single-footed wings and then wing switches or switching wings or whatever it is you guys call them. I hope you guys had a blast today. I am so out of breath. That's a lot of jumping, but I hope you guys had so much fun learning these with me today. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and join the TAP fam. I've got techniques, tutorials, like step tutorials just like this where you can learn one or two steps in just one video. And then I've got technique exercises where we take these steps that we learn, put them into a short little exercise context. We also have choreography tutorials where you take all that stuff that you learn and put it against some really, really fun music in a combination. There's also vlogs, challenges, all kinds of stuff, and it's all free. This is your free tap dance tutorial channel. All you gotta do is subscribe. And also please hit that thumbs up button if you had a lot of fun today and to let YouTube know that people like free tap dance. <laughs> it helps the algorithm. So yes, please hit that thumbs up button for me. Please subscribe and join the tap fam. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.